Welcome. I appreciate everyone joining us, taking some time um, out of your busy days to take a look at our eTapestry Eventbrite integration for event management in eTapestry. My name is Jeff Hegwood. I'm an eTapestry consultant and the owner of Sidekick Solutions. Sidekick Solutions is an independent consulting company that helps organizations like yours, eTapestry users, get the most from eTapestry. Our agenda today is to show you how the Eventbrite integration works with a quick demo, answer your questions, and my goal is to get you out of here in 30 minutes. Feel free to send me any questions you have during the presentation in your GoToWebinar questions panel, and I'll be happy to answer them um, at the conclusion of our presentation. So let's go ahead and dive in. I think we can all be honest, managing events can be a complete mess. Um, your eTapestry database doesn't come with tools to manage events well. There are a few good event management systems out there, but few of them integrate with eTapestry. And we find that most eTapestry users default to spreadsheets, paper forms, and manual procedures to manage events with, I think, what we would call a brute force of will. The problem is that there's just too many systems to manage events, too much paperwork and time, and this leads to stress, anxiety, and a frantic buildup toward the day of the event. So if you're feeling the pain of those options, you're, you're not alone. They're a real headache, and there's got to be a better way. Luckily, our new integration is, is that way. So what does our integration do? Our integration automatically creates GIFs, journal contacts, and accounts in eTapestry based on new orders or registrations, attendees, and check-ins in Eventbrite. Our integration is near real-time. We refresh about every 15 to 20 minutes. So your eTapestry database is always synced with Eventbrite. So that means no more manual data entry, no more cumbersome imports. We can simplify event management processes with a completely hands-free system. You can use mobile apps for your event. Instead of entering registrations into eTapestry, you can watch them roll in automatically and we can manage both paid and free events through Eventbrite system. So let's go ahead and jump in and see how this works. So we're gonna run two scenarios. First scenario is that we're going to add a new attendee, a registration for an event. Now this event could be paid or free. I've set this event up to be free, but it's going to simulate a paid event. I don't want to process a real transaction, so we're going to simulate a free event in Eventbrite, actually creating a gift in eTapestry as a paid event. Then we're going to check that person into the event as if they're attending and show the creation of a journal contact that they actually attended the event. Okay, so I have an Eventbrite event set up and ready to take registrations. So I'm going to go ahead and register. I'm going to uh, register for one person. I'm gonna add the name of that person. I'm entering fake details and I'm going to go ahead and complete that registration. Perfect, now Eventbrite redirects me to their completed landing page. And then I'm gonna go into eTapestry, and you can see that I've created a new account 
for this registration. You can see that I've mapped the name information and email address submitted through Eventbrite. And if I go to the journal, I've added two records and we can customize this as needed. Um, I've added a gift record for the registration. In this case, we're simulating a $10 fee for registration. I've tagged that to a fund, campaign, and approach. I've selected cash as an option, but we could select other gift types if needed. And I've put the Eventbrite ID here. Now, in addition, I've also added a registration journal contact saying that they've accepted the event and added a ticket quantity, the subject, and the date that that event was accepted. So based on your reporting requirements, if you need an RSVP list, or if you need a transaction list, we can do both with the integration. So now let's say that, that Daffy Duck here is actually um, attending the event and we wanna check him in at the event. Now this can be done through the Eventbrite mobile app. Um, this can be done manually through the Eventbrite um, web application. I would encourage if you're doing some kind of offsite event to use the mobile app um, through Eventbrite. It's a very clean solution for accepting check-ins um, at the event based on tickets that they've purchased. So I can go to my Eventbrite dashboard, go to my check-in list. You can see that Daffy Duck is not checked in. I can go ahead and check him in. And you can see that I've added an additional journal contact stating that Daffy has attended, event attended, this particular event. And I've added his ticket attendance or the participation level that he's attending this event in as RSVP, which is the ticket level in Eventbrite. So with our integration, we recommend the following setup for eTapestry and Eventbrite. Although there are variations to this, this is what we've seen as um, a good setup for Eventbrite eTapestry integration. So if there's a paid event, we recommend sending the registration and the order data in Eventbrite to eTapestry as an account and a gift. If it's a free event, we recommend sending the order and registration data from Eventbrite to eTapestry as an account and a journal contact. The reason we recommend separating paid and free events into gifts and journal contacts um, is that we don't muddy the system with gifts that have a zero or um, slightly greater than zero amount. Uh, journal contact is the best place to put uh, free events um, tracking someone's attendance and their registration. If you track attendees as check-ins to an event, we recommend adding a journal contact for attendance and event participation to eTapestry. We recommend that you activate the in integration before you send your announcement for the event so that our system can pick up um, your event registrations. And then we also recommend that any tapestry based on how, your, how you need to report on your event, that you set up the appropriate fields, funds, campaigns, and approaches to track your event data. Now, there are most likely some questions about this integration, so I'll tackle a few of the common ones um, up front here. So one of the questions that we normally get is, does this integration match duplicates in eTapestry? The answer is yes, we use eTapestry's standard duplicate checking function to match the name and email address to potential accounts in eTapestry. Now this does not um, negate the fact that we still recommend running the duplicate report once a month. Um, that would exist whether you have an integration or not. We always recommend um, reviewing duplicates in eTapestry just in case someone submits data that's slightly different that can't be picked up by the duplicate check rules. 
Another question that we, that we often get is, can paid and freed events be managed differently? So yes, we can integrate the integration for paid as a gift in eTapestry and free as a journal contact in eTapestry. And then we talked a little bit about this, but does this work with the Eventbrite mobile app? And the answer to that is yes. Also, all data tracked through the mobile app like ticket sales and mobile check-ins are automatically synced through Eventbrite and then through our integration. So if you're ready to get started, um, here's our, how our integration service works. Setups included. We have two options for um, payment and setup, a monthly and a one-time option. We take care of all the technicals, including maintenance, support, and monitoring of your integration, and there's no technical expertise required. So if you're excited about this integration, you can send me an email at the email address here. Um, we can get you set up with, there's a minimal time commitment on your end to get started. We ask a few questions, run a couple tests, and then your system is, is live. So our integrations don't stop with Eventbrite. Um, we also have other integrations as well, QuickBooks Online, MailChimp, PayPal, um, and others. So that concludes our demo. I appreciate everyone attending and I'll open up the floor now for questions. So if I have an event set up already and it's running, can I utilize this to add those who have already registered and paid? Unfortunately, our integration is a real-time um, process, but I'd be happy to discuss um, importing those records um, as a part of our setup process. If you're right in the middle of registration, um, we'd be happy to take a look at getting your records imported and turning on the integration for the remainder of registration. We have a question, can you point Eventbrite to user-defined fields? Yes, uh, depends on where they're located and how the data maps from Eventbrite, but for most purposes, yes, we can map to user-defined fields. So there's a question about mobile devices and how to um, set up events in Eventbrite using mobile devices. So Eventbrite has two apps. It has a consumer app and then it has um, an Eventbrite organizer app. We recommend downloading the organizer app. And with that, you can um, sell tickets. You can process attendance. You can um, check people into an event, and I believe you can also set up new events as well, and that can all be done with um, a mobile device. Okay, doesn't look like there's any other questions, so we'll go ahead and sign off. If uh, anyone does have a follow-up question, happy to take those, and my email is right here, jeff at sidekicksolutionsllc.com. I'm happy to take this offline with anybody that has questions. Thanks for attending today. Appreciate it. Have a good one.